Ever have designer's block? Because sometimes original ideas just don't come as quickly as new listings. But whether you're a newbie or not, inspiration can always be found with Creative Commons. It's licensing that gives you access to entire collections of images that you can adjust to your needs. Except, you have to make sure you're using these images in the right way. I'm Talish from Printify, and before you end up getting sued, pay attention to how Creative Commons can be effectively used. Copyrights, Creative Commons, public domain, relativity, quantum physics. If before you thought all those things were the same, you would be absolutely wrong. And that's okay. These rules can be tough to understand. It even took me a while to figure it all out. But the best way to think about it is to imagine them all on a spectrum. So on the one side, you have copyright, where the reuse of images requires permission from the owner. Then on the other end is public domain, where images can be used without permission. But in the middle of those two is where you'll find Creative Commons. And that is where you can reuse images, but under certain conditions depending on the license that it comes with. With Creative Commons, the original artist is basically telling you, yes, you can use my image, you don't need to ask for permission, but here's how to use it, and more importantly, here's what can happen to that image after you use it. The question now is, how can we figure all that out just by searching up a picture? Don't worry, we definitely can, and I'm about to show you how. Certain sites allow you to look up images with different levels of Creative Commons licensing. Now, some that you might be familiar with are Flickr, Wikimedia Commons, and Unsplash. But my favorite one to use is Openverse, which kind of operates like a search engine for all these sites. I looked up the term illustration to see what Openverse gave back to me, and one of the first images I found was of these fun green little aliens. But when I look at the licensing portion of this image, I also see a few letters. Now at first, these might not mean much to you, but they're very important. Basically, what they tell us is what permissions are allowed for this image or how we're allowed to use it. For example, I see CC, BY, NC, and D. CC stands for Creative Commons, which lets you know that yes, this is available for use. BY means that you are allowed to share and distribute the work if you credit the author. And NC stands for non-commercial use of this image and all the images that are created after it, which means that this image cannot be sold, ruling it out for us to use on products. And finally, ND stands for non-derivative, meaning that we cannot change this image in any way. So we can share this image if we credit the artist, but we can't change it or sell it. So moving on. This next image I found was this beautiful sketch of a lady with a red flower. Now the licensing indicators I'm seeing on this one are CC, BY, NC, SA. So it's available under Creative Commons, can be shared if credited, but without that non-derivative or ND label here, BY also means that it can be edited. However, it's only for non-commercial use, so no selling again, unfortunately. But there's also a new term here, SA, which means share alike. That means we can share edited versions or derivatives of the original. So we can edit this image, share it, but once again, we can't sell it. So time to keep looking. This next illustration, interestingly enough, has much fewer licensing terms. So I see that it's designated as CC, BY, NC. So once again, it's covered by Creative Commons, can be shared and edited if it's credited, but again, we hit that non-commercial use. So this means that we can share and edit this picture, but only for private purposes. But the original or any derivatives of it can never be sold without permission. So already you can tell that even though the distinctions to these licenses may be small, the amount of control that they offer an artist even after it's been edited is important. So let's keep going. The images we've pulled so far from open source have come from sites like Wikimedia Commons, Pixel Bay, and Flickr, which shows you just all the resources you have access to if you really dig through these searches. It's where I found this beautiful illustration, which I can absolutely see on a bunch of products. Question is, will the licensing allow us to sell it? If we look here, we can see CC, BY, and D. However, without that non-commercial tag here, this means we finally found an image that we can share and sell as long as we credit it but only the original. That ND requirement once again means that this image can't be tweaked or edited in any way. But can we find something we can sell and make our own? Let's go further. So here's an interesting image I found with some designations that have got me very excited. This moose illustration has the licensing terms CC, BY, SA. So we know we can share it and derivatives of it as long as we give the original author credit, but here's where it gets interesting. 
What this license type also tells us is that whatever version you make of this image, anyone else can use your new image with the same exact terms as well, meaning they can also share and re-edit your image just like you did with the original for commercial or non-commercial images. Remember what I said about licensing also allowing artists to stipulate how their work is used even after it's been edited? This is the perfect example of that. Okay, folks, I think I did it. I think I may have found a licensing arrangement that finally works for us in any scenario. Now, this pretty image of a bird is covered under CCBY. I know, a lot fewer terms here, but simply that means we can edit and share and sell it as long as we credit the artist. Now, this is the most open type of license in Creative Commons that we can possibly have, right? Well, here's where I have to remind you of the last licensing type in our spectrum, the public domain which is covered under designation CC0, meaning the image can be used, edited, and shared without any restriction. But does an image like that actually exist? Sure, check out this lovely image I found of a flapper from the 20s, which I'm sure you can get very creative with. Now, the more you actually use these licensing terms, the easier it'll be to remember them all, I promise you. But if you are worried about getting them wrong, these sites have made even that a lot simpler. For example, the search filters on sites like Openverse break results down by specific license type, while on Flickr, the filters show licensing information using just their descriptions. So try them out for yourself and see what designs you can come up with next. Like this video if you've learned something new, comment any questions about Creative Commons licensing down below, and for more tutorials on how to create designs for products, subscribe to Printify.